memory card. I can't record. Uh, oh. I feel very chill right now. I'm like, hi, cutie pie. <laughs> All right, I got this burrito from Alpha Coffee. It was supposed to be a black bean and cheese burrito, an egg burrito, which would have been delicious, but they said that their baker messed up or something. I state, that's why I moved. I'm in Utah right now. All right, but it still has egg. As long as it has egg and spinach, I'm that's cool. Actually, that's probably more healthy than the black bean thing. I'm gonna go wash my hands because I wanna eat this. Like, I wanna go all in, you know? This is some of the salsa. Ooh, that's perfect. Utah has this really big, Hispanic population. My roommate's been telling me not to say Latinx. I went to a college that was very pronoun conscious. I understand why we shouldn't. Maybe it's Latin-y. latin, -y. latin is what you should be saying because it fits into the language. That's a whole nother topic. I think while we respect gender, I think we need to respect and pronouns. We need to also respect <clears throat> the culture learning as I go. There's all types of burritos, tacos, which is really cool. And I feel like most people would not expect that about the state of Utah. Um, I want to edit, but guys, I want to go to bed. I slept like four hours, maybe three. I just want to go to sleep. Last night, what I was supposed to do was fly from New York to Salt Lake as a customer. But because I live in LA, I just selfed, which basically means I'm going to get there on my own. And now I'm in position to work the flight tonight from Salt Lake to Boston on our new 220s. based on a blue story. Literally, we'll see it later. It just becomes a museum. <laughs> because they modified the whole schedule. Delayed the flight 19 hours. So hopefully the plane is ready in the morning or in the afternoon, tomorrow afternoon. We lay over here for like 13 more hours and then we fly to Boston and we've got a 12 hour layover and they're just gonna deadhead us to New York, meaning you're sitting as a customer to get you back to base. I'm not doing that. I'm going to fly to LA from Boston to go back home. This is so weird, so weird. Um, two times in a row flying back from Boston, if this all works out. I wanted to see a friend in Boston. That's not gonna happen now. A very weird start to the summer. And I feel like all the flights nowadays, something with this, this weather, things going on, everything's been pretty crazy. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm so tired. I'm just gonna cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. <laughs> I just 
had a little bit of salmon and a bagel from the lobby. Flight is now delayed 24 hours or 22. I'm here for the ride, right? Um, when you come into work, it's important that you're willing to go anywhere and you're ready. Um, even if you have a schedule, right? That's, that's the job. But when it comes to things like this, especially because of how this was, where it was a red eye and I came from LA so early on, I still haven't gotten a good night's sleep. Like I went to bed at 6 a.m. and it's now like noon, but that's day sleeping is to me doesn't feel like the sleep I get at night. So I'm just like, I really actually want to go home. I, and I, I'm, I usually don't, you know, I, I just really want to go home. When the trip starts getting messed up, I just kind of get a little sad. <laughs> Than a few days but i'm in los angeles i have been actually on call for my airline for the past few days because y'all know the situation out east is crazy right now in terms of flying um so i thought i would continue this video just because my airline asked for help in los angeles i've talked about this before and so i said you know if the situation out east basically i guess spreads out to the west <laughs> i am here and i will i i'm down to help that's what i told them so i've been on call for the past two days on 10 hour reserve blocks so they've had me on from 2 a.m to noon it's not a fun block you are scared out of your mind that they're going to call you and you're gonna miss it because it's 2 a.m you're gonna be sleeping and if you miss a call you can get in trouble for that, like just not answering. Like imagine like the airline's counting on you, there's a flight waiting on you, it's four, five, six a.m. and you fell asleep and you just don't answer. That's not good. I have been getting really bad sleep the past two days because I've been panicked because I haven't done reserve in so long that I don't know, I was just really scared that they were gonna call and I was gonna miss it. And of course, for the first two days, they didn't call. And I would be sitting there at like 11.50, like if they call me right now, I'm going to scream. <laughs> Because now at, at once that point once you get to that point where you don't feel like they're gonna call You definitely want to go outside go get coffee you want to live your life and if they call that could totally change your entire day um, And I could have been gone for two days at that point or three days It's like 9 a.m. Right now, and I have to leave in 20 minutes. They signed me a trip today So let's go because I gotta go <laughs> <laughs> so cool because I got to work with Diana. Um, she, you saw a little bit of her in the video, she used to be JFK based. She transferred to Los Angeles. Not all flight attendants are like this, but Diana and me, we vibe in such an energetic way because we both believe in manifestation and in our dreams just coming true and in releasing and letting go and in surrendering and in trusting. We're all beautiful humans, and I think it's so cool to work with someone like that who you energetically understand and who gets you. I feel so grateful um, to have flown with her again, and this was a moment where I really needed that. But with moving, there's just been a number of complications, and um, I've needed some miracles, and um, a lot has worked out, and a lot has been hard, but um, people like that kind of restore my faith 
and remind me, you know, I'm gonna be okay. I think the lesson here that I've been learning is not fully formed, um, but I think it's that trusting yourself. I was listening to a podcast or something where it was like, from trusting God, you, you'll you be able to trust yourself. So I was brought up with Utah, like saving myself in a way. And I think we, a lot of times we're taught in life that there's gonna be somebody there to save you and to have your back. And sometimes like we were just talking about, you have to have your own back. You have to believe in yourself. And she, she this is what she said that I thought was really profound. She was like, I'm not gonna go home on my off days and say, I hope everything works off for Malik, right? Works out for Malik. She's like, she's gonna be thinking about her own issues on her off days, and she's gonna be thinking about the things she's gotta manifest in her life. So you have to be the one who is there 100% of the time for you. Spend all the time trusting and believing and pouring that good energy into yourself. And that's how these, these, these ideas and these dreams are gonna become re reality. You're spending all that time, giving all that energy to that good stuff. and. You know, when you get to fly with someone who really thinks similarly in terms of believing in the good in the world, and yes, of course, there are bad things, unimaginable bad things that happen in the world. There are also, like, on our flight, five-year-olds that get to go to Cabo. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? There's also, like, people celebrating birthdays and really beautiful, cool moments. And there's also the magic of flight and living in Los Angeles and all of these good things. And I believe, and I think she believes too, that the more you focus on these beautiful things, the more you're able to manifest them. Um, Cause you're just gonna see them more. You know, man, I, I love palm trees. I saw a palm tree. You're gonna keep seeing palm trees. The more you talk about something, the more you, you, talk about and enjoy it. It's true. It's just beautiful that you have the opportunity out there, no matter who you are, to bring really, really good things into your life. And I just want to send you that good energy and just encourage you. Um, because at my airline, that's what we're supposed to do is, you know, inspire humanity. And I, I talk about that, but I really do mean it. I really try to align myself with the things that I believe in. And I think that, you know, this is one of them. Your dreams can come true. So um, I'm just grateful I got to do that little flight. Um, it was really precious. Um, I don't know what the lesson here is. I'm still learning. I'm still in the process of getting used to LA and growing out here and all that and trying things. Um, so we'll see where this goes. All right. I'll see y'all in the next one and I will also see you in the comments later.